Is it recording? Okay. Hey YouTube. How you doing? This is your girl, Miss Hazel Eyes 785. And yes, it is the same damn person from yesterday. It was. <laughs> Um, I tried, this is my second time doing this video. I tried to use the other video recorded that I showed you in the first video, but that shit wasn't working. So we have to go back to the camera and I like the camera better because it's going to show. Because my first video, you couldn't tell that that was pink eyeshadow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we doing the game review. Game review. And I'm, yeah, this is me. You going to get that other chick. And then you go get this chick. This chick is the one that comes when she uh <laughs> doesn't have to go to work. And I had to go to the doctor today. And then I wasn't feeling good after that. So, yeah. You know. Try to put a little lip gloss on there for you. And uh, my new glasses. And I'm. it's so funny because I'm listening to my hubby in there. Looking at my first video, um, it's like, did you look at my video? He's like, I tried to download it on the phone, but it wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, you have Metro, so no, it ain't gonna work. Anywho, let's get back to the game. Malik and this model chick, baby, Malik, baby, she gonna bring you down, honey. She gonna bring you down to the nitty ditty ground, baby. She gonna bring you down. Uh, it's good you taking her back to rehab because that's where that bitch need to be. Understand that you done hurt her and you did all that other shit and things like that. I understand, but damn, she, you done fucked up the girl's sobriety. Take her back and sixty thousand dollars to take care of uh, cause drug baby bitch. I'm gonna need you to come to the hood and get some nickel and dime shit. Cause I mean I don't know nothing about no damn drugs, but I mean I know where somewhere you can get a five pack. Ain't that's what they call a five pack? Five pack, five spot, five. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. <sighs> Let her go. It's causing a wedge between you and your mama. And your mama know what's up. She can tell that you going downhill. And she don't put all her damn, as she said, eggs in your basket. She don't left Derwin, who was a really good client. And she done came back to your motherfucking ass. Because it seemed like you couldn't take for her to manage you and Derwin, which is bullshit. So, I mean, you need to do something. Leave the motherfucker alone. You need to do something. You need to do some promotion, some organization, some charity work. You need to do something, baby. You need to do something. Come on with it, you know. Ask, ask somebody. Kobe, Shaq. I don't really know about sports, but, you know, that's the names I heard. Ask them motherfuckers how to get your rep back up. Come on now. Now, uh... You know how somebody tell you something and you really can't believe what the hell they done just told you? That's how the hell I felt when Melanie told Derwin why he was sitting on the damn toilet. And I really can't believe that they showed that, but that was funny as hell. About her having an abortion and it was Trey's baby. You know how somebody, you know the words you get caught up in your throat and you just be like, I was on the phone with my cousin when it came out, we was talking. I had to put her on pause. I was like, girl, hold on. Did she really just tap that? Big shout out to Jasmine. And I was like, I was like, girl. Now, most women would have took that to their grave. But you were scared and you did the right thing. And I'm very proud of you for doing that. Real good. But, uh, <laughs> I really did not appreciate. And, yeah, I said appreciate. I'm taking that shit real fucking personal. I really did not appreciate the way Durham reacted to it. I understand you hurt. I understand that you mad. I understand all of that. But you would have been real hurt and real mad if you had to walk around and look at this little baby that looks just like Trey walking around here. And then you have to deal with Trey just like Melanie has to deal with that damn Janae. We're going to get on that bitch in a minute. Um... She did, I can say, I don't want to say she did the right thing because I personally don't believe in abortion. I'm not going for it. I don't support it. I don't do anything for it. I, I, my belief, and this is my personal belief, if you big, bad, bold enough to spread your legs, you big, bad, bold enough to lay down and take care of that damn baby, do anything, you know, any means necessary. That's just my philosophy. But some people have their own damn opinion. They still do it. That's, hey, hey, that's y'all prerogative. But, you know, that's just me. Um, 
he leaving and not coming back all damn night. Where the fuck was you at night? And she still got up as a good woman and still did that baby baby sh um baby party. I, on the other hand, would have been like, fuck that damn party. You gonna leave, not want to talk it out, and you want to do all this, that, and the motherfucking other? Okay, well then you and your sorry ass motherfucking baby mama, you do it. How about that? But she did the right thing. She did the good thing. She did the Christian like thing. Hallelujah. And she did that baby party. But what I really didn't appreciate is, you know, Janae, I understand, baby. This is your child and everything like that. I really personally think it should have been two separate damn parties. Because the way that bitch asked, um, you know, acting in last season, you wouldn't have been able to step a foot up in my motherfucking house. I would have knocked your ass back out that front door. Bitch, where the fuck is you going? This is our time, according to the courts. When it's your turn, you can give him a fucking, you know, party on your own. Because the way you treated me and how you did my husband and everything like that, bitch, you would have never came up in that damn house. All hell to the motherfucking knock. But again, Melanie, she's a good one. She's a real good one. Mm -hmm. I hope to be like her one day. Right now, my damn attitude is too damn bad to be doing that. I can't, mm -mm, I can't do it. Um, but her taking pictures and everything like that, that's, you know, that's real hurtful. She walking around in her own damn house and it's like you got to be on fucking eggshells and shit like that because they had to do, you know, they did the pictures and everything like that. That's real hurtful. Now, like she said, how, you know, how she told when they were doing the cupcakes, her and Durham, how she told him, I know. How would you have felt if I did have that baby? Would you have, have accepted me and that baby like I'm accepting you and your baby? That was a good damn question. Because now she has to walk around this thing, not only looking at this child, but she has to look at his baby mama acting like this is her damn party that she planned it. And Melanie is the motherfucking mate. Oh, baby, you can go go do the cupcakes, bitch. Where's your contribution to the motherfucking party? Mm. Let me get off that subject. Come on, little girl, kicking me. I know she. Mm. Her and mama going bad. I'm sorry about that. Now, get back to this. What is that light boy name? What is that light boy name? I can't think of his damn name. That's how unimportant he is. I know his damn wife was Kelly. Y'all know I'm talking Kelly husband. I say that. And I'm glad that bitch going off the earth because the way her ass was acting last damn season with the craziness, she just had no motherfucking purpose. They didn't have no dialogue for her. They should have gave her a damn break last season. All that bullshit. Girl, on um, sound some damn well. Shit. Anyway, her man, Jason. That's his damn name, Jason. I've been trying to think of that shit for an hour. Jason, I went off and married Brandy. Now, I hope damn well that that's a, that's a lie. I hope she just playing with him. Because if so, his ass about to give up half of that damn money that Kelly left his ass with. And it's going to go to her. Baby. Men are so stupid when they get drunk. I can't say that. They are real stupid when they get drunk. And women are too. Women are too. So, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on. It was kind of... I don't know. This episode was kind of boring. The only highlight was Duran and Melanie and her telling them. And that's about it. And the way he punched out uh, Trey... Damn, I want to be like Chris Tucker and uh, jump on and be like, you got knocked the fuck out, man. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about the game. I think I'm going to do love and hip hop either today or tomorrow. You know, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling too well right now. But that's all about I had to say. We, you know, it's the first damn, you know. The first, it's the first one, so you know we gonna see it. But they, I, you know, they gotta come with it. They gotta come with the shit. That let's stay together. I had to cut that shit off. Uh, let's stay canceled. How about that? Um, I can't get down with that shit. I can't get down with that shit. Hell, I'm waiting on Teen Mom to go just so I can see what the hell the damn teen drama going on. With them dumb motherfuckers. But uh, but that's it for tonight, y'all. That's it for tonight. I'm going to try to upload this. Hopefully, this video recorded better than the other one because that one even come up on my computer. So, like I said, if y'all like what you see, y'all let me know at the bottom. 
if y'all don't like what y'all see or y'all don't or if y'all disagree it's okay to debate baby everybody you know every opinions is like assholes everybody got one i got mine y'all got y'all so you know hey it's a free country but y'all you know keep it clean you know a little bit but um uh, all right that's about it and y'all have a good night we'll see what the hell else come on tomorrow and maybe we can review that shit too probably look a little better than today all right then y'all have a good night